Exactly. Y'all, so this is my sub, y'all. They got some good food at this uh hospital. We at St. Jude's Hospital, y'all. But this I wanted to try these because they look good. They got corn nuts and stuff in there, as y'all can see. Corn nuts, like almonds, uh, peanuts, all type of little stuff, y'all. As y'all can see, this is stuff that's in there. So I hope these good while I got them because your girl just be trying stuff. But these look like they good. Shagira got her a maize salad. She made this herself. Um, it's about ounces, too. This salad was $7, and it looks super good. She got her blueberry muffin. What's that? Grapes. These grapes are five dollars. <laughs> we could have got a bag of grapes for that. Kevin got um, is gone. He got a parfait. <laughs> he got a parfait and a juice. He had sat down before us. That's why stuff already gone. Part tarts. Okay, yeah, but we had some juice with this. Y'all see in a minute once we get back upstairs. Piss me off. Where y'all piss you off? They paid for us to go. They paid for us to go to the. Golf course, you know, take your family to the golf course and the little jungle gym thing. They got the what's that thing you got on secure with the bungee cord? Skydiving. Not skydiving. Sky uh, zip lining. Yeah, yeah. zip lining and can on. But they gonna send the other folks over there on the other side of the buildings. Well, the other comp building that they had, they let them go. They rented the whole pool out for them on the night. They did? Yes. Y'all could have went. You they didn't either. tell us about it. They supposed to send. They could have told y'all about it. Y'all still could have went. They supposed to send our guys an email about it. 
They never did. Yeah, that's nuts. I would've went in on them. Y'all got me messed up. Show it. But I don't wanna go down there nowhere. Right now. Nah, they did some racist stuff, y'all, so. Ain't nobody real about them. But yeah, we still sitting down here in this cafeteria. Uh oh. I ain't even tell y'all what was going on, first of all. This is like literally all over the place, y'all. Let me move this. But sis, I ain't even tell y'all. We at the hospital. I told y'all in my mukbang. But yeah, I look a mess right now. Never mind me how I look, because your girl gonna be out here looking crazy. But anyway, y'all, I look dirty. Ooh, why I look so cool. Anyway. Y'all, today, I mean, we at the hospital, at St. Jude Hospital in Springfield. My sister-in-law, which is having sister, she had to um, get induced today. Like, she wasn't supposed to have a baby for next month. No, this no, month. This month. On the 15th. Yeah, the 15th. Okay, it was on the 15th, but she had went to the doctor today, and her blood pressure kept going up. It kept shooting up or whatever. Yeah, so they had to send her out here, so... We've been out here since like five o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. And it's currently like one o'clock in the morning. She getting induced. So right now we have to come down to the cafeteria because the doctor had to come in. One of the doctors had to come in to give her the epidural. And y'all know can't nobody be in the room when you get an epidural because they say all the germs and stuff is in the ear. So they don't need nobody around when they doing that. So that's what they're doing. We sitting out here for the time being. Um, I'm gonna convince Kevin that we need to spend a night because we can't leave her here by herself because she's already going through preeclampsia, y'all. Uh, 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 blood pressure keeps shooting up. We can't just leave her here by herself. There ain't nobody here with her. So either somebody gotta stay and somebody gotta go home or we all stay, either or. Uh, again, she already been scared, having anxiety and all that. Y'all know how to be having kids. If you have to get kids before you get scared and anxiety, and that, that thing, but I feel like she could be more scared because she never had high blood pressure. Her blood pressure keeps shooting up. Like, it keeps literally shooting up. But she gonna be good. I told her, like, girl, you, you gonna be good. You gonna be good, trust me. Just calm down, okay? Um, you gonna have her naturally, is what we trying to, trying to get her to do. But if she can't, then she gonna, um, like the nurses said, um, she should be fine. And the doctor said that, that one of the labor and delivery doctors, she said, um, she should be fine. She shouldn't have to do a cesarean if she just let it out or whatever. So, yeah. They had to give us some magnesium. And it, that's what it called. They, yeah, to keep from having seizures, to keep her, uh, have her blood pressure elevated. They had to give her that. It's to keep you from having seizures, you know, while your blood pressure is up. Yeah. So, she can't eat. Y'all already know she can't eat. And she haven't ate in almost 24 hours now, so. She still ain't gonna be able to eat for another 24 hours until she had a baby in there and while she's still on that magnesium, she can't eat until, I guess the medicine is completely worn off. Y'all, it be a lot. People don't understand. It be a lot of women have to go through with having kids, having babies. Like, we put our bodies at risk. And a lot of people don't understand that. These guys don't be understanding. Like, we go through a whole lot. From birth, carrying the babies, like, all the doctor's appointments, the unnecessary hunger, always hungry, body aches, like you just go through so much stress, anxiety, crying, like you just be all over the place. Like they don't understand, like it'd be a lot on you. Tired most of the time, like it just be a lot. And me and all they gotta do is just <laughs> whatever they doing. <laughs> like they'll be understanding, like that's a lot. And then it's a lot of risk with that too. Like, some people don't be making it, but majority of people do. That's just, like, a rare case. Majority of the people just make it, but it's just, like, y'all, they need to applaud us more. They need to give women their flowers, us our flowers, literally. Speaking of flowers, I'm going to go get her son when she pushed the baby out. She pushed the baby out. We're going to go get some flowers and some balloons and bring them up here. Probably like a teddy bear or something. You know? What's that name? I think this little thing. Huh? What's the name of it again? Preclampsia. Yeah. Uh, preclampsia. Preclampsia. Pre preclampsia. He be making up his own words. That's what it is. It's my preclampsia. 
when she her work her blood pressure when somebody a woman blood pressure be raising up uncontrollably. It's like a high risk. It's very high risk. That's like very it's dangerous. And it's like high risk. It's like dangerous. I or I have like seizures or something like that. And it's, it can mess up your liver, kidneys. your kidneys, and your brain. Yeah, but okay. we're gonna pray for her. She's gonna be all right now. She's definitely gonna be all right. Yeah, they got it down. So, but yeah, luckily that too. She had they got her blood pressure down, so that's down. That's good. They got regulated right now, so hopefully we'll go back upstairs. She'll still be fine. Like I just said, she she dilating every seven minutes. So. <clears throat> yeah, I want to say Or having contractions or something. I mean, I don't know which one it is. Contractions. She having contractions every seven minutes. Kevin don't be doing what he's talking about. He said she's dilated every seven minutes. Something like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you smell like straight peanuts. I think they're eating nuts. Wait, let me taste them. These mine. Put your hand back. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, I wanted to taste these real bad. They look spicy. I just wanted to taste them because it was pouring up. Mm -mm. It's a Mexican stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to chew it all the way. <clears throat> yeah, but this one minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's good. That corn that tastes like a Mexican corn. So. It's good. You gotta eat them all at one time. And it's spicy. Bay, I love you. You my everything. That's how I be when I be hungry. Like, I be just knowing, like... I ain't just starving. Like, you know how your stomach be growling and hurts and starving? Mm-hmm. It ain't even that. It's just a thought, like, dang, I know I should should have ate something. Yeah. See, I be... Like, I do that. Like, if I know I was supposed to eat, yeah. Like, last night when we went down to the cafeteria, I wasn't even hungry. I just got something because... I was like, right, that's what we was doing. And I'm like, they getting something. I'm finna get something, too. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even hungry, though. That's why I feel like I'm just hungry. Right. I'm like, that's been there. I, I ate enough for the next three years. All right. <laughs> all right. is just fine. Give me the sugar I need so my sugar doesn't have to I'm Kevin right. said he coming back up here when you get out of work. Uh-uh. Yeah, he said it. Is that what he told you? Yeah, he said he was coming when you get out of work. Oh, I ain't nothing. And she was talking about she coming too. She want me to be right here. So I'm going to be up again. Well, he, uh, he never, tell him to bring you some clothes so you can take a shower. I told Shakira. Bring your soap. Yeah. It's so terrible. Terrible. Yeah, I told her already. I'm like, put my stuff in the bag. It's some towels on. They can get you some towels. That's 20,000, man. It's a lot of towels now. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, baby. And then Kevin says you want to go home and take a shower. Yep. I showed her, I'm like, will you come bring my stuff, my soap, and you know my little change of clothes. Mm -hmm. Definitely need to wash this, them keisters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can have to bring my lady soap, because I hate using these. I 
I ain't gonna lie, it ain't just day soap. Like any soap, I don't. What kind of soap you be using? I only, I only use uh, Summer Z. Summer Z. I will use the off brand too though. Just like I be using Dial, the uh antibacterial soap. The orange but, one. Yeah. I use Dial antibacterial, the white one, but I do not. Like, I only use it on my inner thighs, which kind of end up going into, like, the crevice between my thigh and my hoo-ha. Yeah. Like, that little fold right there. But, like, just actually washing the furry part. The furry part. <laughs> I'm dead. When I wash the I'm dead. Part, I use my um, vaginal soap. Yeah. anything else I use, and it's like... It smells terrible. Right. Like anything that's too strong. Like I love scenty. scenty. You don't pose to use scents down no nowhere. That's why I know that's why I use inside like anti cereal soaps. And I mean um dove. Dove sensitive. Um, my body don't like none of that stuff. I use but I use the anti bacterial soap that I was talking about the rest of my body. body. Yeah. And that's all so I use that for my hoo ha. Yeah. And I use the body wash for the rest of my body. Body washes I do. If I use it like I told you once upon a time, like I just maybe when you just maybe the rest of you. I oh. put a little bit on my shoulders, arms, chest, and stomach, and yeah. let it run down my back a little bit, and then rinse off. And I still smell like it. All right. Without having to risk getting it down in my nether regions. Right. <laughs> I, don't want it I want to try that one soap though. Everybody be talking about that. Um, you know what I'm talking about? What is it? It like it's body spirits. It's a soap, but it's like made for like, yo. Yoni soap? No, it's not a Yoni soap. It's uh, it, they sell it at Walmart. They come in like a little bottle, like a little, lo almost like a lotion bottle. Mm -hmm. It's like clear. It's called, damn, what was the name I of that? I heard of it. it must have been viral. A lot of people it's use it. They say it's real good. Um, yeah, it's viral. Uh, what is it called? I was gonna say cash rule. I was gonna say cash rule again. It started with a C though. Castile soap? I think it is. I mean, Castor something. Castile water? Is that what it is? Uh uh. It started with, it's something like that, like the name, but it's like in a it's in a clear bottle, but like the labels be like purple or blue. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yellow. I've never heard of it. And I yeah. A lot of people say they've been using it as real good for like your vagina area and all that stuff. I like to use nothing. My favorite thing to use and my only thing I like to use is the lightly scented uh, pink soap from Summer's Eve or the I was using that stuff for a minute too. I use the sprays like the deodorant sprays. When they get hot, baby. I use them in years, but I use, I use that because like under my stomach be sweating. I, y'all. Got to poop, you got to raise the stomach up and. Yeah, I stopped using powder a long time ago. I did be leaving like residue. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It did. I just put it on my whole body. I just put it on my chest, under my titties. Yeah. Breast, yeah. yeah. Side, but it make you feel good though when you go outside. Like it's a good so, feeling. Like it's like when you put it in your sheets. Have you ever put it in your sheets? Yeah, sheet? my bed. Yeah, and sheets. <laughs> Slide. It's like gliding. When you freshly put fresh sheets on your bed, you sprinkle your bed with powder, especially that uh, what was the shower to shower powder? Mm -hmm. Woo! That was a favorite powder. Yep. Yeah. Are you doing better? You see, you got that darn machine off now. Mm -hmm. That's good. That thing is I'm able to stay awake. Good. That uh, thing is a pain. I'm already in here. Mm -hmm. Looking like this, crazy. Yeah. I gotta do something to my hair, baby. Mm. Let's do it next day. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's my time. That's the time. Yeah. The next day. I know, I, I, I Still here. Got him some change clothes. I can wash my ass. Yeah. And although I was like in and out, like I look everybody everybody I'm like, you know, so I don't like, like, I, don't know, know, like so. I keep pulling this little piece of hair to make it look like I got my hair cut off. <laughs> mm, we go out to the
Cafeteria, y'all. Let's see it's on first floor. Yeah, so as y'all can see, I'm sitting in the hospital with the same clothes on. Like, literally, the same stuff on. Kevin is at work. It is like 12. I'm a 12 30 a.m. the 4th of July. And y'all, it's creepy down here. That's why I started recording. Like, I'm all the way on the first floor, but it feel like the basement of the hospital. And we in St. John's, the Children's Hospital. Y'all. But, um, yeah, I need to change my clothes. I feel like hot. Like, I feel like I'm a hot mess. You know how you just to change your clothes daily? I ain't need it. I just been sitting out here because I'm far away from home. 30 minutes away, and I ain't got no car to go get my clothes or nothing. So, I'm basically waiting on Kevin to, you know, get out of work. Cause he supposed to bring Shakira up there. I supposed to do my hair. Cause she want her hair done. And y'all, they, um, as soon as I walked out the door, the nurses and stuff came back in the room so they can flip B back over. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a quick update. Um, she dilated. She like five centimeters, so when I go back up, hopefully she at eight. Hopefully, y'all. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Trying to get her to have this baby. Why last night when we came down, he seemed like he was further away. Oh, they got the other door open now. Nobody like this door wasn't open last night. Girl, where's all this stuff? All this stuff went in here last night. We did not, I did not see all this. Y'all, they got, hold on. They got burgers. Chicken tenders. They got the works up in here. Well, I feel like I'm in a different place. This one open last night. What is going on? What is? Really? How y'all do date? I'm lost. <laughs> Here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you the sub place place. was right here last night, wasn't it? Uh, you made my sub last night. It was right here. In the corner over there. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much is these slices of pizza? Right okay, I see it. They good? Yeah. Look my life. Our pizza ain't good pizza. I'm from Chicago, so you know we got the best pizza. <laughs> 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 okay. Hi. All right, y'all. So let me see. see. I'm lost. They literally open this thing back. Um, I should have got a sandwich, but I got a piece of pizza because it looked good. So I need some ranch, though. I'm bad all this food. Kevin gonna reimburse me, cause maybe he gotta give me something. Mm. Yeah. Today is the last day that I eat. 